This is Pat Iyer with Legal Nurse Podcast. I have with me today, Linda Wagoner. Linda is a nurse practitioner who's certified in both medical surgical and psychiatric nursing and combines those two areas of expertise. Linda, can you tell our viewer who's watching this on our Legal Nurse Business YouTube channel or on our audio channels listening to this show, what are some of the highlights of what we covered in your podcast? Yes, Pat, I think um, one of the main things that we stressed in our discussion was um, the prevalence of physical health problems in the mental health population. Um, The fact that they don't get really good care in our system uh, and that they die many years younger on average than people in the general population, largely from the same causes, but they don't get very good care for a number of reasons. Um, Sometimes they have trouble accessing the system and and sometimes um, our system is not very good at managing chronic health problems. And just the need for the average practitioner to be aware Um, that a high percentage of their population in primary care is going to have some kind of mental health issue, whether it be depression um, or bipolar disorder or something else, and that um, they should be screening for these disorders. And I think most of the the doctors are using some questionnaires to screen people. Um, We talked about some of the conditions that can mimic psychiatric conditions uh, such as um, arrhythmias, Graves' disease can mimic anxiety, Um, hypothyroidism can mimic depression. And so there are a number of conditions like that where a person might come in ostensibly for a, a psych reason, but in reality, they've got something medical going on or perhaps they have both. So we're talking about misdiagnosis, delay in diagnosis, Mm -hmm. failure to diagnose. Exactly. And also uh, to be very aware of a person's propensity uh, for suicide. If someone is widowed, a male, uh, living alone, recently widowed with a lot of health problems, has a gun in the home. Um, All of those things should be factors that would raise your suspicion that this is somebody who possibly would commit suicide. And we also always have to be aware of that. Thank you, Linda. We covered a lot in this podcast. You'll be sure to to listen to this. Um, Psychiatric issues affect all kinds of cases, not just the medical malpractice ones that Linda and I talked about, but they are factors and side effects of serious injury as well, dealing with trauma, chronic pain, changes in body image. There's a whole layer of psychiatric and mental health challenges that affect people who are injured um, and an area that doesn't receive a lot of attention. Thank you, Linda, for your participation in this podcast. Oh, you're welcome, Pat. Glad to be here. Be sure to look for Linda Wagoner's podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.